You seen your friends? No. You drinking? No. Drugs? No. I brought some entertainment, courtesy of our good friends at the LAPD. God, she looks familiar. Where have I seen her before? <laughs> She's pissed, huh? Damn. Knockout, huh? Let me ask you a question. You were released uh, about a week ago? How'd you manage to star in your own reality TV show? That's not me. <laughs> that lady, without question, is you. No, it's not. You're even wearing the same shirt. That's not the same shirt. It looks like a striped shirt to me. This is a lined shirt, and that lady's wearing a striped shirt. What's the difference? Stripes are wider than lines. Everybody knows that it's basic fashion. All right, you win. Who are you calling? It's simple math, Brenda. Crime equals breaking probation, which equals you going back to prison. Okay, wait, no, you don't need to, hey. you don't need to call anyone. Hey, what's anyone. up? Oh. Yeah, it's me. Okay, fine, fine, yeah, that's me, fine. Give me a sec. The guy pissed me off. I'll call you back. The clerk? Yeah, he propositioned me or something worse. So you lost it because some guy hit on you? It was the way he said it. How'd he say it? Hey, let's get naked, I'll give you free snacks. So you risked everything because some idiot offended you? Yeah, that was degrading. Just because I'm in a vulnerable state of existence right now, like I have ex-con written across my forehead, he thinks he has the license to talk to me like that? You think he would talk to a high class person like that? No way. You hit him over the head with a bottle and you stole stuff. He shouldn't have grabbed my jacket. I, I didn't know what he was gonna do, he was creepy. And ten dollars worth of merchandise? Please, I could have jumped the counter and empty the effing register. Did he really say that to you? Okay, don't do that again. It makes me look bad in front of my peers. You looking for work? Where? Everywhere. Did you follow the leads I gave you? Nobody returned my calls. Freddy, you gotta show up, you can't just call. All right. Something kind of came up. What? I don't want to jinx it. Come on, you're not going to jinx it. Could be a game changer sort of thing. I have an interview. With who? It's this thing I found online, and I sent them links to my stuff, and they actually liked it. Your stuff? Yeah, my animal training videos. You're an animal trainer? No, I'm not. I just... I speak their language and they speak mine. What's a job? Officially, I guess, animal trainer. The facility is actually super dope and it pays pretty good. They need someone permanent and it comes with health insurance. That's encouraging. It's just an interview. It says something. I hope you get it. How about the motel? You good there? Um, my voucher ends in two days. Is there anything you can do? Like, it's, it's actually really concerning me. Yeah, sorry. It, it's all I could get you. You don't have a relative, friend, somebody you could stay with? No, uh, they all hate me. You out of cash?
Don't do that. It's just 20 bucks. If you tell anybody I gave it to you, I'll deny it. Okay, I think we're done here. Uh, check in with me every day. Let me know you're alive and uh, no more entertaining the LAPD. Hey, when's your interview? Two days. All right, two days. Hey, don't give up. And be careful. It's Brenda. Um, I've called you a couple times now. I just, uh, I, I'm gonna need a place to stay just for a couple days, nothing too crazy. Hey, Michaela, it's Brenda again. Uh, just checking in. It's been a while, man. I miss you. Call me back. Yeah, we'll talk soon. All right, bye. Hey. Mom, called you a couple times. Um, I'm sure your phone is just dead. I know you how you are about charging it. Uh, yeah, I'm just calling to uh, say hi and to tell you that I got a job interview and I'm feeling really excited about it and I want to tell you about it and I think you'll be really excited too. Um, yeah, I... I miss you. I miss you a lot. So, call me back. Clara! What do you want, Brenda? I'm so happy you picked up. I really need someone to talk to. <laughs> to be honest, I thought it was someone else. The only reason I haven't blocked this number is because you're my sister. What? Brenda, you identity thefted our lives, ruined our credit, and stole our stuff, and now you want someone to talk to? Okay, I know. I don't deny any of that, and it kills me inside knowing what I did to you guys, but I've been out for a week, and I'm really, really trying to fix things. I don't want you to fix anything. Don't call this number. I don't want to talk to you. I'm sorry, okay? I'll pay you guys back. I promise. I'm... Seriously trying to clean up my past. Brenda, listen carefully. Your past is uncleanable. Save your breath. What, like you've never screwed up? Please, I know all about your selfish screw-ups. Bravo. This is the best apology ever. Go to hell. <laughs> okay, you know what? I take it back. I'm never gonna pay you back, and in fact, you deserved getting ripped off, you greedy, snobbish slut. Go have fun drinking your crappy, overpriced wine. 
Yeah, you go have fun with your ex-con life. Good luck, Brenda. Yeah, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Uh, is everything okay? Very sorry, but we would like to hold an interview today if it's a possibility. Oh, uh, what time? Can you do it now? We have a remote video meeting. Our VP is slammed and has to leave town, so a brief video interview will be the only way we can squeeze you in. Um, could we do it in like an hour? Sorry, we have a staff meeting at 2.15. How about 1.45? Oh, wait, uh, 145. Yeah, yeah, okay. Terrific. I'll punch you through at 30. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Texting, been calling. You just flat out ignored me. It's all right. You're not the first person to avoid me. I seem to have that effect on people. I'm sorry. I've just been trying to get situated. You look pretty situated to me. How'd you find me? No one knows I'm here. Your mother knows you. You don't know my mother, how do you know that? You put me on the same group text as your mom's. So you made it kind of easy. What? Oh my god. I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty stupid. I guess that's what happens to a competent woman when she does some hard time though, right? Man, your mom must really love you. She didn't respond to a single text you sent her, huh? She probably has her phone off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what it was. It's not like you burned your mommy bridge to the ground, too, huh? That's messed up. Don't say that. What do you want, Ricky? What? What do I want? What do I want? God, man, damn, this thing's getting uncomfortable. I gotta get me a holster for that. So, before you got popped by the DEA, you were supposed to deliver a package of mine. Where's that? Where do you think it is? I don't got the slightest idea. You didn't send me any letters. You didn't call me. I didn't hear a single word from you. The cops got it. Don't you watch the five o'clock news, Ricky? Everybody knows what happened on the surface. But me and you, we know what happened underneath, don't we? There is no underneath. So what you don't know is that I've been on the hook for that package. Yeah, ADG's retail. Now, being the generous person that I am, I am willing to factor in time served. Let's call it 60 G's. That's better than minimum wage. No. No, that was a long time ago, and I'm not in that world anymore, and you can't force me back in. I did time for that package, and I didn't rat you out, so we're even. Rat or no rat, you lose a package like that, you got to pay. So, 
60 G's is what we got on the table now. How are you going to pay? Oh no, I have a job interview in 17 minutes. You need to get out. I don't want to screw this up. I'm not going anywhere. Ricky, please get out. It's a good job with nice benefits. Please, 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 legit get out. I'm staying right here. And I'm not leaving until we finish our business. You know what? Fine. Do whatever you want. Just shut up. I gotta change. Hey, Ricky. Um, do you think you could do me a favor? Do you think you could clean up out here? I don't want them to see what a slob I am. I'm kidding. Jesus. I think we move this table right here. This window will be your light source, wall is your backdrop. Should give your face the perfect highlights. Okay. All right, get your cell phone out. Put it to photo mode, we're gonna do the test. Give me that. Um, I don't know if I want to see the gun during the interview. That's a good point. Could mess you up. That's the money shot right there, boy. I think they're gonna call. Sit right there. They're supposed to call. But they're like they're late. Should I call them, do you no, think? No, they said they call, they'll call. Alright. You don't want to look desperate. I am desperate. They don't know that. Call. Just shut up. What time did they say they call? One forty-five. They're calling. Brenda, hi. Before we start, I gotta tell you, the 
entire staff saw all your videos. Love, love, love that. We're fans. And question, how the heck did you get those dogs to ride scooters and bikes and skateboards? Oh, um, not all breeds will do that, but you just, you put them on and do it over and over again until they're brainwashed. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Great. So you love dogs? Yeah, more than humans. I, no offense. <laughs> Where'd you go to school? I didn't. I'm self-taught. Oh, wow. Incredible. Well, you definitely have a gift. What's your favorite animal? Uh, listen, mine's a humpback whale. Dogs are awesome, but I've got a spiritual connection to whales. Um, my favorite is a crow. Seriously? Why a crow? Well, they're smarter than like all animals and like even primates, like monkeys and apes, and they're the only animal that uses tools. No kidding. Tools? Yeah, yeah, they, they use like hooks to gather shrubs and other things. And they're like amazingly loyal to each other. Mm. I'm now officially like crows. <laughs> I noticed a, a large gap of time in your resume. Can you tell me what you've been up to the past two years? Um, yeah, uh, I've been locked up, like, prison. Are you serious? Yeah, yes. <clears throat> what happened? Um, I got hit by a car on my bike, and, uh, I broke my leg. Doctor prescribed Oxycontin. I got addicted, found street drugs to be cheaper, so I stole things to support my habit, and I sold drugs too. Um, but before all that happened, I was a normal person, and now I'm on the straight and narrow. Like, no more of that life. When did you get out? Almost a week ago. Oh, quite the journey. Okay, well, we'll keep you under serious consideration. Uh, I do appreciate your time. I, I love your videos, and um, we'll let you know. Thank you. Oh, sorry, could you hold on just a second? You didn't get the job, dummy. Get back on the phone and sell yourself. How? What do you mean, how? Tell them you're the only person on the planet for this job. Don't stop until you get it. Before I let you go, um, I just want to say that if you hire me, I will be your most acclaimed trainer, like the, the dopest, and um, I'll be the most respectful and humble and hardworking and most importantly, the most honest and trustworthy. Uh, please, please just give me a chance to show you what I can do. I really, really like your company and I really think I could be a perfect fit there. We, uh, could do a probationary or, or temporary period, say, three months. And if all goes well, then you'd be hired permanently. Will that work for you? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Monica will call you later to set everything up. When can you start? Tomorrow. <clears throat> Welcome aboard, Brenda. I'm really excited to get to know you. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Oh my god. Wow. I got the job. Thank you, Ricky. I think I owe you one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Brenda, make no mistake. You owe me more than one. You owe me my package, remember? Now let's get back to business. <laughs>